Well, after months of pressure, the coffee chain Starbucks says it will pay more tax in the UK. Managing Director Chris Engskov said the company is listening to the concerns of customers. Starbucks has borne the brunt of public anger about multinational companies avoiding tax in the UK. Behind that is its failure to pay any more than $22 million in corporation tax over 13 years, and that's despite sales worth $5 billion. Compare that to its direct competitor, Costa Coffee, which paid $24 million in tax last year alone. But Starbucks' change in stance may not protect it from calls for a boycott or from Saturday's planned occupation of dozens of its UK outlets by protesters. Well, Starbucks is making what it is calling a contribution to the British economy. The company will pay roughly 20 million pounds more in taxes in the UK than is required by law. That's about 10 million pounds next year and another 10 million in 2014. This move follows intense public outrage after British lawmakers criticized Starbucks, Google and Amazon for not paying what authorities there call their fair share in taxes. Starbucks has only paid income taxes in the UK in about one of the roughly 15 years that it's had a presence there. But the company maintains that it has always followed the letter of the law, pointing out that it hasn't had to pay income taxes most of the years operating in the UK because it hasn't turned a profit there with the exception of that one year. Instead, the company says the decision to boost tax payments is about maintaining trust. I sat down with Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, just a day ahead of this announcement. In view of the concern and the high degree of sensitivity around the austerity issues in Europe and in the UK, we have taken a step back and said, even though we have not made a profit, it's, it's perhaps time for us to make a contribution and to the UK society, whether or not we made a profit or not.